Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. We used to rapping like that. Gang, gang, salute to every single person that watches this content, whether religiously or in passing. Salute to my boy, my guy, my brother, Show Thomas P, and all of that, and all of that. So, uh, two things I'm gonna talk about Bill Collector versus Mac Myron. Fire, fire battle, first and foremost. Um, I did get to watch it again. They got apps for that. Salute to King of the Dot Twitch, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. I think this battle is getting overshadowed by everything that went on this weekend. I tweeted uh, earlier that uh, I know there was a lot of extra sh that went on this weekend, but Bill Collector versus Mac Myron was one of them ones. They both took it to that level, and after watching it, a couple times it's like yo this is really really good work like Bill Collector he came into that battle knowing that he had a chance to be one of the first people to ever make it to the finals of two tournaments one on URL and one of the king of the die and that was like very important like that was that's important in battle rap whether it be history or whether it be for him to have a chance to potentially win a hundred thousand dollars like that's big money a lot of people will never ever make a hundred thousand dollars at one time in their life you know what i'm saying and to be able to do that by just something that you have fun with or as a hobby is amazing you know what i mean like that's a dope opportunity seeing people like showtime sp being involved with the judging and things like that people ask oh father why you couldn't judge it's like i could have but i want to showtime sp in that light and i'm glad that he's getting that light getting that opportunity i actually said no because i wanted to see him do it, you know what I'm saying? Like it was, we, we, you know what I mean? So it's good to see people in position and doing their thing, you know what I'm saying? And I'm glad that he's involved. I'm glad that he's using his expertise to break down these battles and judge and things like that. And now it's past versus Bill, you know? And I know I've seen the narrative and the notion that uh, Mac Myron got robbed, Mac Myron got robbed. When we do the bar for bar breakdown, if that, you know, when the battle comes out, I can tell you why. I personally, first of all, I personally had uh, Mac Myron went in the first, I edged the second to Bill, and Bill got the third. Um, just off the, the, like, Mac had a lot of punches. He had a lot of solid lines in that battle. Like, he was really, really good. Career high Mac Myron. But Bill, like, I, I've been mentioning this forever in a lot of these battles. Like, them different pockets of flows and being able to dummy in and out of the bars and, and, and be able to use, like, these, these fire different entendres and sounds and the, the haka the haka the all the Arnold Schwarzenegger like Bill is on a warpath right now, and uh, he he definitely should get the attention that he's getting. So should Mac Myron, and the reason why I'm gonna speak on the rest of the events from the weekend is because if I just talk about a Bill Collector versus Mac Myron, some people may watch, but other people are here just for the extra shit. You know what I'm saying? And I don't usually do what I call it clickbait. I don't usually do that, but uh, it's like, we have to talk about a lot of different things. And like I said, that's a great battle. Uh, King of the Dot did their work. But uh, you know, I see a lot of the timeline, a lot of people talking about this whole situation where, you know, snake eyes and stumbles, et cetera, et cetera. Here's how I see it, right? I don't have a person wrong, as far as like both sides. Yo, man, like they getting in each other's face, they doing the, um, the face off and all of that and then snake mushes stumbles and stumbles people stand on business and you know it goes the way it goes now you know he probably didn't know that they was coming like that he probably didn't know that they was eight deep nine deep or however many deep they were he probably didn't know you got move smooth he probably didn't so wasn't situationally aware of what was going on you know and the people that you know him and tone they they stood on business and they fought back you're not gonna sit there and just you know you, you're gonna have to apply pressure and I respect what they did and the other side you know if you go somewhere and you pull up with five six seven nine people if something pops off those people are more than likely gonna get involved because they're not there for battle rap they're there to make sure that you make it home and make it back and they're gonna step on whatever's out there just to make that happen like that's just how it goes when I heard that stumbles traveled from Massachusetts to Houston in a car. I already knew them niggas was on dumb shit. I said, oh, ain't no way 
somebody drive from Massachusetts to Houston in a car? Let's see. I heard it was 24 hour, 25 hour drive. Bro, I'm, I'm Googling it right now. Let's just, let's just see together. That drive <laughs> is, it says 27 hours. If niggas drive that far, they not driving there on no C, on no P. They driving there on dumb shit. And that's exactly where, where it went. But this is like for stumbles. I see, you know, however y'all attain the belt, y'all got the belt, you running around, you taking pictures with it, you know, you, you flossing with it and things like that. But that's what I'm, what I was going to say is like, People may not feel that a lot, you know what I mean? And you it's your moves. You can do whatever you want, you can move how you want to move. But when it comes to that, you 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 dancing in the end zone with the belt that you you personally you personally didn't take it from him. Somebody that you was with took it from him and they gave it to you, or whatever the case may be. But you don't want to burn your bridge before you get there. And the reason why I say that as far as with uh, stumbles is concerned. You're not even really like that in battle rap. Like, I don't have no memorable battles of yours. Uh, I don't have no memorable moment. I mean, the calling the mom on the FaceTime is one thing, you know, but you don't really have them battles to, to really, like, solidify you. So, like, if a person with some stock, if they get into a fight, they could, you know, kind of, like, cover it up for him, keep him around. It's like, you know, but he brings money and he makes the needle move. So it's kind of more, you know, you can see it happening. But when somebody like, like yourself... You haven't even really made a splash yet. So when you don't make a splash, it's easier to just cut that off. Like, you know what? If this person and this person is at the venue, they may be wanting to have some get back. They may want to get their lick back on you for what happened at the last joint. And it's like before you can even really get your career off the ground and take off, it may be easier to just not deal with you. I'm not saying that's what's going to happen. I'm not saying that's what should happen. You know what I'm saying? It's two grown men making grown men decisions. Listen. Niggas get in the fights every day, B. It happens. Like, it happens. It happens on the block. It happens in the barbershop. It happens everywhere. So I'm not too much tripping off that. But you got to move smooth because we've seen these situations before. With King Von, you know, it's a fist fight. But then a fist fight leads to somebody pulling out a glizzy. And then the glizzy leads to somebody getting killed. So it's kind of like, you know, you got to pick and choose your battles wisely. Because y'all was going to battle anyway. I think the next day, that face off outside, that really wasn't even needed. It really wasn't. When you think about it, it really wasn't even needed. And you didn't have nobody that was going to pull you away and say, yo, this is not even necessary. And obviously, Snake didn't get pulled away either. And that's his energy, though. He's been, his energy has been like high energy, heavy sh talking, all in your grill, talking heavy. That's what he's been doing since day one. If you check out all his face offs, if you check out all his, him and Ace, I mean, like that's what he's built, though. He's built off of that image. And, you know, if you send out enough invitations to the party, somebody going to show up, you know? And you, if you can read between the lines, you know what I mean. Like, if you send out enough invitations, somebody going to show up. Somebody going to call you. Somebody going to want to see what that's about. And I think it's a highly unfortunate situation as to where uh, that ended like that, you know what I'm saying? And, but when people say, oh, this shouldn't have happened, that shouldn't have happened, it's like, look, once the niggas go there, once it's there, it's there. Once it's up there, it's stuck there. So I didn't see nothing that shocked me. Like, I wasn't really shocked because it's like, that's what happens. Like, when niggas get with somebody and then, you know, he mushed. When one person gets mushed, like, a mush is disrespect. Like, that's, that's just that nigga mushed you. That's like taking somebody's chain off their neck and rocking it. And You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I got that nigga chain. That's disrespectful. So his people is not like, you got to think, like, the people that be with the battle rappers, they come to the events. They not there for battle rap. Like, you know, any events I've been to, they be, they stand outside, they chill, they smoke. When they man's about to battle, they go inside, watch they man battle, they leave. Sometimes they may go in the event for a couple other battles if there's some fire on. But for the most part, they are there for their person. Whoever they're there with, that's who they're there for. They don't come to the event looking to just be intermingling with no battle rap fans and all of that. They there specifically for that. So once old boy seen Snake mush him, he jumped in and he snuck Snake, you know? Of course, it was a sneak move that like, you don't get no points, it ain't no big points for that, but he started the brawl and the brawl went left. And, you know, I, 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 I've only speaking on this once because I want to see people progress. Battle Rap is doing so good. You got so many sponsors, so many events, so many dope things going on. 
And you don't want to see these young brothers cut their legs from under them and, and ruin their careers before they really even start. Now, if you're going to take it there, you can take it there, you know, the cameras and shit. Like when the cameras is out, everybody want to act extra tougher. Everybody want to do a lot on the cameras. It's like, y'all niggas really got an issue. Y'all can meet up off camera. Y'all can squab it out, you know. He could get his belt back or however y'all want to do that. Y'all can move on. It don't have to be so much publicity around it. It don't have to be 85 different people like when I see them or this wouldn't have been this or this wouldn't have. It's like, bro, this shit could happen to anybody. If a nigga got two, if a nigga got 10, and you got two, or if a nigga got eight and you got two, anything more than three versus two, <laughs> it's not going to go to way it shouldn't. Imagine if two of them would have beat up the eight of them. That shit would have looked crazy. They supposed to do that. That's supposed to like if they if that shit goes down like that, niggas is supposed to uh, stand on business. You know what I'm saying? But for both MCs, you don't want to crash out. Is what we call it. You don't want to crash out and ruin your career or, or, or stop yourself from getting booked. Because like I said, with a lot of these companies, a lot of these brands, they see all they watch YouTube, they see the algorithm, they see what's going on. If they see your name involved with this, 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 and this, they may not want you around. They're gonna be like, yo, if he's bringing that to us, like we good. Like we don't want him over here, and you don't want a stigma attached to you, you, know, whenever, you don't want that, you know what I mean, but it's going to be what it is, but can't nobody tell a grown man what's supposed to do when another grown man put their hands on him, like y'all niggas is bugging like that, like that's bugged out, nigga put their hands on you, a grown man put his hands on you, however you respect, it's called, however you respond, you know what I'm saying, well, there's an action, there's a reaction, once a nigga act one way and another nigga react, can't blame him for that, you know what I'm saying, that's why I never would say either one is wrong, everyone did what they were supposed to do as far as like standing on business, I don't know who was there and I don't know who jumped in and who ran. I don't know none of that. I don't get that far into it. But from what I did see from my vantage point from just watching the, the footage or, the, or whatever had came out, it was like this shit could have really been avoided. Like if there was a person in each crew that's like, all right, man, fuck this face off. We out. Nah, we good. We good. We good. You doing too much. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that. Yeah, people will talk about it. Oh, this person breaks up face off, yada, yada, yada. But that's going to be way less talked about than the all out bro. You know what I'm saying? And then you got everybody in each other's ears. And oh, you're going to let that happen. Oh, you're going to let this happen. And niggas going to be wanting to get back and shit like that. And it's like, you know, at the end of the day, I keep, st I keep stressing this. I can't stress it. Both of these MCs, you don't want to cut your legs out from under you before you really, really, really hit your stride. Snake hadn't been on URL for at least a year and some change. He came back, he battled none, you know what I'm saying? He was about to battle Stumbles. He's probably probably gonna get, get himself a little mini run. You know what I mean? Who knows where it could go? But you know, once you get into shit like this, people may be like, oh, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, we was gonna book you on this card, but uh, you know, you had this and that. It's not, it's just not fucking worth it. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, it's just not worth it. Uh, both of these guys are, you know, MCs. Uh, Stumbles has not even, to me, this is just my personal thing. He has not shown anyone, anyone in battle rap that he's really like a dope lyric. I haven't seen it. If there's a battle, maybe y'all can let me know in the comments and I can watch. But I have not seen any performance that would make me say, you know, oh shit. And you don't want to get popular in battle rap for everything except rap. Like, this nigga's really blowing up, not blowing up, but he's really getting a lot of notoriety from this whole belt shit, like taking the belt or rocking the belt and flossing the belt. And that's cool and all, but if it's battle rap, it's battle rap. You know what I'm saying? Like, are y'all rapping? Is you rapping or is you auditioning? You know what I'm saying? Like, what is niggas doing out here? Because, uh, like I said, when once them big brands get involved, they will cut bait with some shit quick. Like, nah, that's not a good look for our brand. We good. Let, let's, let's, just, let's, just, let's just move. You know what I mean? And y'all niggas can't blame niggas who come with niggas for getting involved. Like. Uh, if you roll there, if that's your man, and you see some shit going on, niggas is gonna jump in. That's it. That's just the way it goes. You know, if you see, okay, when you when when we grew up watching wrestling and shit, and you watch somebody run down into the ring and jump into the ring, they don't jump into the ring and be like, hey guys, what's going on? It looks like a fight. No, they start throwing them things. That's just what it was. You know what I'm saying? But I don't want to see good battles like what Mac Myron and Bill get overshadowed by, you know. <laughs> uh, brawl, you know, uh, uh, stumbling over a snake, snake stumbling over him, and you know, they're gonna be alright, it's gonna be like every other angle, niggas are gonna talk shit, and it is what it is, but at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, uh, making it home to your people should be the most important task, when you head out the door, you should be worrying about how, not worrying, but you should be concerned about 
how you gonna get back? How you gonna make it back to your people? That's the most important thing. Not looking tough on camera, not, you know, uh, I mush this person on, nah, all that shit is irregular. You know what I'm saying? All the battle rappers that I really have spoke to in regards to this is like, yo, you can say whatever you want, but once you put your hands on somebody, all bets is off. Like, all bets is off. Once you touch somebody, once you push somebody, once you mush somebody, all bets is off. And, you know, there was niggas rolling up with, <laughs> this is the funny shit. There was niggas rolling up with wheelchairs. I promise you, if I'm ever in a situation where I'm getting jumped and I see a nigga trying to run me over with a wheelchair or whatever the case may be, <laughs> Lord, I ain't signed up for this shit. Wheelchair? The nigga was, the, I'd seen niggas trying to run in and get involved and niggas said, screw The nigga just pulled up in the, where is these niggas with these wheelchairs? How is these niggas even, what is he doing? Why is these niggas, these niggas pulled up in motherfucking wheelchairs, nigga, like, like blades of fire. These, these niggas rolling up, nigga. Screw it, niggas, niggas was spinning it. We gotta do better, man. We've all grown. We've all grown. If we made mistakes in life or we did dumb shit, I would hope that everybody grows up and continues to learn and continues to prosper and be better, man, because uh, this shit was crazy. And it could have ended ugly. All it took is for one nigga in Houston. You know how easy it is? You can get a, you can get a gun easier than you can get a PlayStation in Houston. I promise you, it's easier to get a gun than it is to get a PlayStation 5. Anywhere, actually. You can get a gun for cheaper than you can get a PS5. <laughs> it's all it took is for one nigga out of all them 40 niggas that was out there fighting, it took for one person to have a gun, and we'd be having a totally different situation. So that's all I'm saying, man. That's the only time I'm gonna speak about it, and we're gonna leave that where it is, man. But dog, y'all niggas can't be out. Yeah, you can't go out sad like that, man. Y'all niggas cannot go out. And then, you know, it's like, with Stumbles, niggas like, oh, he needs to give back the belt, or oh, he's going to rub it in. I feel like he'll rub it in, get as much clout off of it as he can, that he might give it back. Or he could do like, you know, uh, what they did with a uh, young bird chain and throw it in the river or whatever, you know what I'm saying? But it's just, nah, 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 we can't, we, I want you to at least get a chance, a fair shake. You're not even going to get a fair shake. Them niggas feel like when they, when you pull up, you're going to have 20 niggas with you and they on, and they on bullshit. They're ready to crash out. Niggas is going to be like, yo, is the risk, is the risk worth the reward? We bringing him in. Is he fire like that? If he's not fire like that and he's bringing this shit with him, but it's the streets though. Saying niggas know it's the streets, so it's like okay, it's the street streets, it's battle rap. But uh, you know, I hope all 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 heads prevail. Uh, like I said, it is what it is. I'm not I, I'm not saying nobody's right or nobody's wrong in that situation. It's just something that you were hoping the future niggas could avoid. But it is what it is, man. Like shit happens. Like street shit happens all the fucking time. I'm not surprised. A nigga has got clapped at an event before. Niggas have got beat up at events before. Niggas have got their chain took off of them at the events before. Niggas have had bottles thrown. Like, it's been all kind of shit. A lot of shit that happened don't even make it on camera. So, you know, you will hope that it's a learning lesson, regardless, you know what I'm saying, of how it went down. But, uh, you know, I'm out of here. Gang, gang.